Well, today we're going to do a quick walk around <clears throat> overview of this 1969 VW bus conversion. You can see that it's an unrestored vehicle. Well, can't get too far away from the thing in the warehouse here. But we'll take a look at the inside and uh, the dash and so forth. So here's the uh, passenger area. They've got one seat going longitudinally and one across where a stock seat was and you can see we have a battery pack that uh, is underneath the seat so let's take a close-up look at the dash So the dash doesn't look too much different than it did originally. Um, there was a blank spot right here originally. And now uh, that's where we have the uh, Curtis 840 display. And where the ashtray was, we have the JLD 404. You can see we're fully charged. And uh, let me turn on the ignition. You turn on the ignition, a little green light comes on here. Just as a reminder that the ignition is on. Of course, the uh, Curtis display comes on. And down here, let me turn on the... Oh, that shows up. We've got our... 12 volt gauge just so we can monitor the 12 volt system you can see that it's uh, right about 14 volts that means our DC to DC converter is working right here a slight blue halo that's our reverse switch we're now in reverse back to forward So that's it in the front. Uh, all the controls are just as they would be normally. Let's go take a look at the engine bay. So here's a shot of the engine bay. May have to get some light, although the camera seems to be doing a pretty good job. On the left hand side here, we have the auxiliary battery it was originally on the right hand side we relocated it to the left hand side we have a trickle charger that's mounted to the hold down it's hardwired in so if the vehicle is going to sit for any period of time just plug it in keep that 12 volt auxiliary battery charged because there's always a drain on them so uh, Underneath the uh, panel here, um, we have the High Performance Electric Vehicle Systems AC50. This is the Curtis 1238 controller. This package puts out 76 horsepower and 120 pound-feet of torque. Over here on the other side, where the auxiliary battery originally was, is uh, our 2.5 kilowatt uh, traction pack charger, we have our main disconnect switch, and we have a junction box with um, some electronics. We have our coolant reservoir for the uh, controller, throttle, 
shunt main contactor up above we have our DC to DC converter and our traction pack fuse you can also see we have um, board here with uh, our relays some terminal strips and with all of our designs this is very um, modular and any one component can be removed fairly easily one last thing and that is where the stock fuel port was we now have our J1772 uh, our level 2 charge port so that's it for this quick little overview of a 1969 VW bus conversion stock cross member modified for our motor mounting. Our rear motor mount. Alrighty. See you next time. So now you get to drive the Classic and have that reliability and ease of use. I think we've, I think we've sold her. <laughs>